These videos are going to be to show you how to make a batch bomb, such as this one, or an alarm clock that I've created. First thing you need to do is know how to write one. First thing I did was download Notepad++. So it has a helpful color feature. Once you have Notepad++ installed, go to Language, select Batch. Now, whenever you type such a any command, it will show up as code. First thing that you should know about is echo. What this does is display a message or put something into a text file. If you want to echo a message, say echo hello. If you do echo um, and sign, it won't show a little thing. So, yeah, since you selected the language, it will automatically give you the bat cmd or nt. We're going to save as bat test.bat. Save. So now, what? It's not staying. Now, the reason for that is because as soon as it executes both these commands, it exits. There's something called a pause. Now, that will pause the batch file and keep it from going on. Now, let's see what it does. So now, it's, you know, the first time it says, echo hello, hello. Now, now that's without echo on. Echo, hello. So now, we'll have one where it echoes it while it's on, and one when it's off. So see, it has that. That is not always ideal for a patch file. Now, if you want to echo something to a text file, oops, give me one while I try to open every program up here. Okay, so now, I don't have this. It's okay, could have been better, but now, let's say we want a text file to say. Now, another nice thing is if you misspell echo like I have done here, it highlights in blue so that you can fix it. One bad thing is, um, Notepad++ doesn't have any, like, debug tool that I know of that is already installed. So now say we want to echo my name is underscore which is my Minecraft username. So we're going to use this little carrot, a right carrot, and then give it a file name. So let's say I just want to name it hello. If we just do that, it'll be a blank file, and we won't do, be able to do anything, so we have to add a .txt extension. So now let's save this. Let's just see if it returns anything in the batch file. It doesn't return anything. Yes, it does. It echoes hello. Oh, never mind. This is before. So now, now let me press enter. See on my desktop here, let's create a hello.txt, which is what we wanted it to do. So now, we open hello.txt, says my name is Brain 99, which is what we want. Now, say you don't want the pause command to say, please press any key to continue. You want it to say something really quick. First, you pipe that to null. This may create a file name null on your desktop, but 
that's because you're piping the answer into that. Anytime you do this string or any file name for this that have that, then it will automatically pipe whatever it was going to display to that file and not display it in the batch. So say we want it to display press echo press enter to comment that's a dot control s minimize let's run let's that now it says like it's echoes hello 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 press enter to continue now now if we look here there's a null file if we open this it won't want to because it is does not have any file ending now, yep there if you open it in notepad it will display press a key to continue which is what it would have displayed in the bench file but we told it to go to the we can easily delete this, it won't do anything back. So now, now you have a idea of pause, echo, and how to turn the echo on and off. The echo is... The echo is this string of command C dot dot users stem is my default echo for command prompt. So now if I talk to echo hello oops did not mean that. Oh. And now if you type it wrong in the CMD prompt, it will not correct it. So there we go. Now one last thing for this video. Say you don't want you to don't want to be able to see this after any of this after you have pressed in something simple called app CLS. CLS is clear screen. The at sign is kind of making the command not shown. So now save this. Minimize. Okay, so now it says all that. We press enter, and it only says press enter to continue. Now we've got the two files, we can delete them because we know what they both say. Now, um, that was pretty much it for making a basic, very, very basic command prompt to talk to you and tell you stuff in a text file. This could easily be any file extension. I'm not sure what all extensions work, but I will get back to you on what extensions do work. Thanks for watching and see you next time.